Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, this is the Pilgrim, and this build is based on a traditional Chinese courtyard house. Uh, these courtyard designs were originally developed to protect from really harsh weather conditions. You get like cold winds blowing in from the north, and they blow across pretty much the whole country during the winter and they blow up dust storms from like Mongolia and the Gobi Desert. Then in summer in the coastal areas they're hit by typhoons, tropical monsoons, and they can sweep across you know large parts of the country and they cause flooding, massive rainstorms. So these courtyards were like ideal protection against the weather and they could also keep the livestock in the courtyard and just keep them safe. The Chinese have had a really long history of warfare, from like invading northern tribes, the kingdoms being at war, and rebellions against emperors. I think having that safe enclosed place to live probably gave them some sense of security as well as like a physical defence. Uh, the structural design of the buildings are based on ideas of Taoism and Confucianism, and Feng Shui, which is wind water. Uh, with, with Feng Shui, the ideal site should be surrounded on three sides by like high land or mountains and have a flowing river valley and that would channel and contain chi and also that type of uh, terrain provides protection from weather and enemies but you can't always find that and sort of by creating the courtyard houses you can build the central valley surrounded by the high walls and buildings that represent the mountains and then you've created that environment even if you can't situate the building perfectly so that's the Taoist philosopher, having harmony between the buildings and the environment. The Confucian philosophy deals with hierarchy and organisation. The main building at the north end of the courtyard and facing south is the tallest. And that's where the oldest family members would live. Patriarchs, matriarchs, people in charge. The buildings facing east and west are usually for the younger family members and they would also have a smaller building facing south and that was for servants. Um, the main entrance should have its own sort of smaller courtyard and a set of gates before you get through into the, you know, the main courtyard and that's somewhere you can sort of bring in gods, greet guests and it also stops spirits from getting right through to the main house. Yeah, so that's the design philosophy for the build and I think I picked the right spot for it. I've got like the valley in front of me and I've got basically a mountain and then the higher land on the left and right and yeah it looks pretty cool. I took the colour scheme from different types of buildings I just really like like the white red and black just go really well together. I've learnt quite a bit about the Tong Dynasty and they used a lot of like yellows and greens and blues as well in their builds so I can change all the colours up with like the next lot do some pagodas and temples. I wanted to keep like a pretty traditional look to this place so I've used like the adobe and the stone and the, a lot of wood and but I think if you like on a PVE server and you're worried about griefers and stuff like that because it is a little susceptible to that especially with the amount of wood that's around the outside just build it out of stone it's the paint job that really sets this building off I think more than anything I'm going to have a look inside this main building it's meant to be a house but check this out look at that put a whole like workshop in there so you've got two forges, tech replicator, there's smithies underneath and there's pretty much storage everywhere. Yeah, you look at that and it's, you can sort of see where the floors are split up. And there is there is floors and walkways and there's like a bit of a barracks in the roof. But I thought instead of just building another house inside, it'd be a great place to have all the production in. And when I tried fitting the forges in, the two just fit there, perfect. All the walkways sort of clip through them a little bit. So you can walk around them and if you're next to the forges you can reach the replicator and some of the vaults as well. Yeah, worked out really well this bit. Like, I didn't really plan it out for that but when I started put, placing things in everything just sort of slotted into place. Like I said I've got the whole build recorded. But I've also recorded our, our fit, like the forges and everything into this part of the build as well. So that's all there if you want to put it in. 
Uh, we'll go and check out the upstairs now. Just managed to fit like spiral staircases in wherever I could. And this level brings you back out into this section here. I thought with the sort of like battlements around the entire outside of the base with the roof on top that sort of connects up to everything and it, that was more of like a fort design or like what they've got in the imperial palaces because you'd have all your guards just chilling out up there and I thought put boxes of um, arrows and things like that in to defend the place and I continued the walkway so it sort of cut into the middle of this main house as well so you can get like right away around and get to any section of the base from up here. And we're back on the same level we was on before. Go and check out the rest of it. Got a huge space to play with up here. I mean, you can use it for anything. I just put some like beds and things in, bit of a barracks. I was also thinking if I opened up a section of the roof and put some pillars in. I could use this for a bit of an aver, you know, to bring your flyers in to drop resources off. But I didn't like, I didn't like the idea that it would have changed the whole slope of the roof and, and the way the design went. But it'd be a good spot to put your generators up there, and then you can run your electricity right through the whole base. You're gonna need electricity anyway to power like um, the chem bench and stuff like that, and for lighting. I mean, it would look really good with just like the fire torches everywhere and I know the the sort of red colour represents yang which is represented by fire you know in yin yang and it's a pretty um, lucky colour in, in China as well there's a lot of symbolism towards it but I'm not 100% on all that so something I'll have to read up on we're actually back above the main entrance here now this is the roof sections you see how I had to sort of build structure into hold it all up. But it's just like an attic. Use it for storage or something. Then you come round here and go up into the, the top of this roof. And you can get out onto these two extra balconies up here. This one overlooks the courtyard. So like I said, if it was a type of fort, you know, it would be a pretty good defensible position this. And then on the front, it sort of overlooks the main entrance. I was just thinking you're going to need electricity for fridges and cryopods as well. But you could run all the wiring through the roof sections across pretty much the whole base without it being in the way. And then just drop the, um, the plug sockets down where you need them. That'll be alright. I mean, the whole build, it, it's... It's not that difficult once you've got the foundations down and the walls and stuff up. It's the, it's the roof sections that can be a, a little tricky. I've been counting everything up again, you know, for the how to build. Um, I'll get that out before weekend, hopefully, I'll, I'm at the weekend. Um, there is, it's pretty, like, resource ever, kind of. Uh, but I really didn't sort of hold anything back on this build to try and save on resources or make it any easier to build. I just went totally for the look of the place, for the aesthetics. You see this courtyard turned out really well, just love the pillars and everything, just, just looks amazing. Yeah, I'm very happy with this build. Yeah, there's like a dozen things I want to build in this design now. I've had quite a few requests uh, lately, so I'll try and sort of incorporate some of them into the builds as well. Uh, the whole thing's built on official settings, no mods, so it's all going to be good for, you know, for PvE and console. Own the flags if anybody wants to know, you get them from killing the dragon boss. And there's the materials list just in case you want to do any farming before the how to build comes out.
it should be easy enough to adapt this type of design to like Japanese style temples and builds as well. During the Tong Dynasty, envoys and ambassadors, students from as far away as like Persia, India, Sri Lanka, Southeast Asia, Korea and Japan were all invited to the Daoming Palace. During Emperor Xuanzong's reign, thousands of scholars and students like visited his palace. Um, Emperor Xuanzong was like a proper man of the arts. He studied music, art, dancing, architecture, and he created like a real cultural and artistic golden age in you known Chinese history. A lot of Chinese artisans were and craftsmen were commissioned by the Japanese to build like palaces and temples. And the Japanese emperor had uh, Heizhou Palace built on the same design as Daoming Palace and a lot of the sort of architecture of Japan was like really heavily influenced by the Tang Dynasty. Yeah, so there we have it, Chinese courtyard house. Bit of a history lesson during this video as well, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've had like a real influx of subs this last few weeks. Got to like three and a half K already, couldn't believe it. Um, but I said like my goal this year was to try and hit 10K. So yeah, thanks a lot for that people. Yeah, keep liking, subscribing, commenting, and I will keep getting good builds out for you, hopefully. Right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later.